I think as, as humans in this realm, we have to keep ourselves in one foot in the human world. Yes. Be, if you keep your foot, your both of your feet in that spirit world too much, there's some not really healthy things that happen. And she got to that point. She really did get I to think, that. Point. I think that is the perfect description. Yeah, it's um, it, she was definitely <laughs> the things that came out were pretty. And not even I could understand them, but I'm I'm part human, so how could you I? Know, this is interesting. Um, the, I was getting coaching at one point, and I was so dedicated to my spirituality and growing, and okay. I was just all up here. I was yeah. literally only living in my heart chakra and on up. Okay, and she said, Kim. You're like a Q-tip. <laughs> and I, I never forgot that because it wasn't comfortable being mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. again, I'm navigating. So I can only imagine her young life trying to navigate. I'm even older and I'm trying to navigate spirituality and what I know I'm drawn to do and be. But I needed guidance. I didn't know. And so I thought it was good to just live up here in the higher chakras. And she helped, she helped me understand that we have, you want to activate all your chakras. And if someone is new to the term chakra, it's you, it's like you said, one foot here on earth and one foot in the spirit realm, both. Yeah. You have your spiritual side and your, mm -hmm. your physical body side. And we want all of your chakras activated and flowing. And um, she helped me see how living grounded is much more comfortable and healthy and sane. And, um, and she was right. She was yeah. right. Now I really ground and I allow myself to really experience the earthly experience because I came here for an earthly experience. I'm spiritual, but I came here for an earthly experience. So I'm going to have it. Absolutely. I enjoy eat the foods look at the cookie eat, eat the foods look at the beautiful things do the things laugh take, cry yeah, do all those things and don't all let it. anybody as long as it feels good to you don't let a damn person tell you that it's wrong if it feels good to you do it and maybe it maybe you're harming someone okay i just I know, got no, do no harm do no harm right. and, do no, no harm I, it's sad that we still have to say that but <laughs> But we do do no harm. And, and I don't know, maybe I was slightly imbalanced in that approach with my parenting because I did, I, I raised Sierra to be unattached and, you know, I do me and you do you. And we have these shared experiences. And I have, I have so much love for you and I love you, but you are this person and go do you. And yeah. And maybe I shouldn't have emphasized that so early on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it was part of the blueprint. And I'm just.